go now to the legal battles centered around Michigan state legislative districts. A federal lawsuit yeah. claiming the districts unfairly discriminates against black voters and candidates. It's now going to trial. The case involving a total of five state house districts and four state senate districts in Metro Detroit proceeding under that new court order. Tonight, 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham taking an in-depth look at the suit that could ultimately lead to districts being redrawn. Every 10 years, the lines for voting districts are redrawn. Well, the commission tasked with redistricting this time around is accused of racial gerrymandering. Well, Tuesday, a panel of three federal judges decided to send the issue to trial. They need to go to trial about that for sure. We spoke to Detroiters about the case AG versus Benson, a lawsuit that accuses the Michigan Independent Citizens Redistricting Commission of violating the Voting Rights Act and intentionally watering down black voter percentages when redrawing electoral districts. I feel like it's unfair. It's unfair to our community because we the people should have a voice. Tuesday, a three judge panel issued this opinion stating a jury should decide if more than half of the 17 newly drawn districts were mapped out fairly. Your reaction to the decision? The decision is a huge win for the plaintiffs in this case. It's fairly rare that redistricting challenges make it past a preliminary motion stage to trial. Attorney John Birch claims the commission used racial quotas to draw the lines around black voters in Detroit in a way that makes it harder to elect the candidates of their choice. But using these quotas, the commission reduced many of these districts down to 40 percent or even in the 30 percent. And uh, as a result, we lost 15 to 20 percent of the black legislative caucus in the last election cycle. It's a devastating outcome for black voters, and we're confident that the judges will see that. The commission is made up of Republicans, Democrats and independents. Commissioner Stephen Lett serves as the legal liaison and says based upon the information given to the commission, the districts were drawn fairly. Where would I hope it would turn out? Well, I think that we try to do a good job. Uh, certainly there can be disputes and there is as to whether or not uh, we did. He notes this isn't the first challenge the commission has faced and he says the judges did what the commission anticipated. If the court determines that no, we made a mistake, we'll go back and correct it. Regardless of the outcome of the trial, some, like Larry Smith, are disillusioned by the voting process. My vote don't ever count. Mine don't, because ain't nobody I ever voted for won. So therefore, I don't think my vote count, but I like to vote. Give me a day off work. I'm told the trial could start in early November. In Detroit, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News. And we will be keeping an eye on that trial. Yes.